so I just finished cutting out the pieces for my next sewing make which is going to be this bomber jacket McCall 7637 I want to make this view here that the gentleman is wearing which is view B I really like that it has a collar and then pockets on the sleeve and also on the front and then you have rib knit around the front of the jacket and on the sleeve cuffs I purchased all my fabric and notions from Joanne Fabrics and I'm going to use this corduroy for the body of the jacket. I'm going to use this rib knit for all the areas that call for rib knit and then I'll use this for a zipper. What I'm doing right now is pressing my pattern pieces and then I'm also going to go ahead and press out the fabric before I get started on cutting out the fabric pieces. This pattern does call for lining fabric and I didn't purchase any lining fabric when I was at the store and the reason I didn't is because I have a lot of scraps and I figured I would just make the body of the garment first and then I'll go through my scraps and see if I have anything that I can use for lining and if I don't have anything or I don't have enough then I'll go to the store at that time and then pick out the lining fabric that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to take my time and do this jacket little by little. So that's what I'm up to. I'm working on the pockets right now and I did mark the stitching line that was on the front of the pattern piece. So for the pocket it has this little area here that's tucked in and stitched down and then you take the pocket piece and you sew the right side of the fabric to the wrong side of the front and then you baste around here and then after I baste I'll come back to the front and actually stitch on this line to permanently attach the pocket to the front of the jacket. I added the front pocket to the front and then I also finished off the side pocket and now I'm going to work on the back. So you have a triangle here and then you also have a notch and you are to add ease stitches between the triangle and the notch on both sides and then that will help you get prepared to add the back to the front at the shoulders and also on the side seam. So this is where I am so far. I am about to start stay stitching around the neck edge so that I can get ready to put on the collar. I really love the color of this fabric. I think it's so nice. The collar is basted on. Yay, I like the way it looks. And next I'm gonna work on the sleeves. I had this leftover corduroy that is actually the same corduroy this was a scrap that I was like so surprised to find so I was like oh I'm gonna use that that's gonna be perfect so there is one pocket on one of the sleeves and I will go ahead and start working on that next but it will look like this and then of course you know the band is gonna be beige around the sleeve and around the bottom so it's gonna be blue not blue blue brown and then beige here is the jacket so far. I did have to widen the band and so now it's a little bit too big so I will probably just wear it cuffed. I could not get it around the wrist for anything so I just made it a little bit bigger. Here is the pocket and I put the band on the bottom and now I'm about to work on putting in the zipper. To widen the wristband I drew a line over and up. So I extended the pattern piece over and then cut out two new pattern pieces for the wrist area. It dawned on me later that I could have just taken the sleeve pattern piece and then gathered the bottom area and then attached the band. And I think that would have been a better correction because then the band wouldn't be too wide around my wrist area. So I didn't have enough scraps to use, but I did have this fabric that I purchased a while ago from LA Bench Fabrics. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this for the lining. I just need to iron this and cut out the lining pieces. Here's the lining. I decided not to add sleeves. 
and the lining is sewn to the band and then you flip the lining on top of the jacket right sides together and now I'm going to just go ahead and stitch around this neck edge and secure the lining to the jacket. The lining is attached to the neckline and then just to finish the sleeve area I'm going to pin the lining to the jacket for the sleeve area the opening here and then I'm just going to stitch all the way around since I didn't put a sleeve in the lining. I decided at the very last minute to take a piece of scrap fabric in the blue corduroy and place it on top of the front right pocket. 